Welcome to the episode number 7 of our series Cost Management How to Build Your Financial Model. In last episode, we discussed the scenario planning, and today we'll discuss an important topic sensitivity analysis, cost management, and value creation. So, let's quickly highlight the main differences between the two models. As Asif Masani stated in his article, Seven Proven Best Practices in Forecasting Financials. Practice number seven, Scenario and Sensitivity. Multiple scenario and sensitivity analyses provide context and insight into the dynamics of expected performance. The difference between the two methods is that sensitivity analysis examines the effect of changing just one variable at a time. On the other hand, Scenario analysis assesses the effect of changing all the input variables at the same time. It's very important article that I would invite you to read it. Now let's start our first example about sensitivity analysis by applying one variable data table in Excel. As you see, we have nine products with a total sales quantity of 229,000 tons. In cell C12 and D12, you will find the total weighted average price and variable costs using the Excel function of some product. For better understanding of this function and the different use of it, you can watch our episodes number 4 and 5 in our series about Excel for FP and D and cost management. The contribution value in cell C16 and the EBIT in cell C19, as you see. Now, let us first apply a one variable sensitivity analysis. Let us see the cost sensitivity. We need to know the contribution sensitivity to the inflation and deflation of the variable costs. In other words, the sensitivity to 1% increase and decrease in the inflation rate. The inflation rate is 10%, and in column K the increase and decrease by 1%. In column L, create a table of 11 cells, then copy cell E12 the average variable cost, and paste special value in cell L11. Again, paste special to ensure a correct value. In cell L10 to L6 increase the effect of the inflation by 1%. For example, by multiplying cell L11 by 1 plus the inflation rate in column K, then do the same in L12 to L16. In cell M5 type equals C16 of contributions value. Select cell L5 to L16 then shift plus right arrow. From what if analysis click data table. And in column input cell select cell E12 the variable cost and press OK. As you see in cell M11 the contribution is the amount as cell C16 because it's related to the same variable cost of L11 and E12. Above and below cell M11 you will find the expected contribution after the effect of inflation. You can repeat the same in column P, but this time will include the increase and decrease of the fixed costs by 1.5%. In cell Q5 select cell C19 of EBIT, then copy the fixed cost from C18 and paste special value to cell P11. And in cell P10 type equal P11 of fixed cost then multiply by 1 plus cell O10 the fixed cost saving that we want. Copy the formula then paste in the remaining cells. Again select the data table, then what if analysis data table but this time select cell C18 related to fixed costs. Finally, you can apply conditional formatting and dynamic shapes, 
as we discussed it in our first episode of Excel for FPNA and Cost Management. I would invite you to watch it. In the second example, let's apply the two variable sensitivity analysis with the quantity and price sensitivity. Create table as you see, copy the quantity from cell C12, then paste special value in cell N5, then increase and decrease by 3% quantity growth rate. Again, by type equal N5 and multiply by 1 plus cell Q1 of the growth rate, finally copy the formula right and left. But sure, in cell L5 and M5 will be a minus sign because it's decrease not increase. Again, copy the price from cell D12 and paste a special value in cell K9. Do the same increase and decrease by 4% of a price growth rate cell M4. In cell K5 type equals C19 of EBIT and don't forget to select this cell. In cell K5 press Control shift down arrow, then right arrow and what if analysis data table. In raw input cell select cell C12 for quantity, and in column input cell select D12 for price, then press OK. Now you have the EBIT sensitivity analysis to two variables of quantity and price increase and decrease. Again, you can apply a conditional formatting of icon sets indicators and manage rule of formatting. What can the current inflation and recession affect our scenario planning? We have asked one of the most professional experts in the global cost management, James Reimer, to share a short advice about the need to apply sensitivity analysis during recession and inflation. He stated that Analysis the data from past and current recession, especially the inflation sensitivity analysis, can help company to early reacting to inflation risks and not wait till reacting defensively. Also, this will help companies not merely survive, but their earnings could also climb steadily throughout the downturn and continue to rise afterward. Now, let's discuss the use of sensitivity analysis to create value for the shareholder. In other words, the NBV or the net present value of future cash flow. The table on the lift show the NPV or net present value of a project. I will discuss this topic in another episode. Let's now focus on the sensitivity analysis itself. Again, copy the variable cost inflation rate in cell N7 then paste special value in cell M11, and increase the inflation by 2% and decrease again on the left side. Do not forget the sign plus and minus in the right cells. Copy the sales price growth rate from cell N5, then paste special value to cell J15, also increase and decrease it by 1%. In cell J11 select cell C22 related to the NPV. Again, in cell J11 press Control shift down arrow, then right arrow and select what if analysis data table. In raw input cell select cell N7 of the inflation rate.
and in column input cell select cell N5 of price growth rate, finally OK. Finally, you can apply conditional formatting and dynamic chart as this one on the left. So remember to link cell J11 cell C22 related to the NPV. Also, don't forget to copy and paste special of M11 and J15. Now, would you like another scenario modeling method for better planning and forecasting? Here you are a good tutorial about the Monte Carlo simulation in Excel by Daniel Stan that was published by the Association for Financial Professionals, AFB, online. Again, I would invite you to watch this important tutorial by Daniel. In the next episode, I will try to discuss the break-even analysis for one product and multiple products. See you.